was coming from underneath my feet. There was walking out here. I don't understand what's just gone on there. All I'm seeing is big black eyes. No, I can't do it, I hate it. Building, and this week I've brought you to West Yorkshire and to a beautiful 17th century home with connections to Charlotte Bronte, a legendary ghost story and also some strange ghostly goings on. Welcome to Most Haunted and to Oakwell Hall. Originally built in 1583 by the then affluent John Batt, this beautiful home once dominated the local landscape. It is so torturously woven into the very fabric of Yorkshire's history that even the facts surrounding it have almost taken myth-like status. After supporting the Royalists in the Civil War, the Batt family had to pay a fine of £365 to the parliamentarians, a great deal of money in the 17th century. This turned their fortunes and led to their demise. Finally, the hall was sold and later became a boarding school. It was during this time that Charlotte Bronte visited and was so inspired that she used it as field head in her novel Shirley. Today, the hall is a beautifully kept time capsule and just being in it is like traveling back to the 1600s. Maybe that's why it's said to house so many spirits. From poltergeist to dark shadows, full apparitions to disembodied voices, and an atmosphere that defies belief. This old and great family home has a legendary haunting tale that sends shivers right down your spine. On a cold, windy December night in 1684, the household was surprised to see William Batt return from London so early. He looked pale and refused to speak as he walked through the main hall, up the stairs and into his bedroom. When the family followed, they found that he had completely disappeared, leaving nothing but a bloody footprint. A few days later, a messenger arrived at the house with some bad news. William Batt had been killed in a duel in London the very same night he'd been seen in the house. This is the bedroom where he vanished, and also his bloody footstep was witnessed on this very floor. This is supposed to be the most haunted room in the whole of the house. Dark shadows, knocking noises, poltergeist activity, and the smell of tobacco seems to seep through these very walls. Just down from the bedroom is this balcony area and a study room, all with the original floorboards, and it's very atmospheric indeed. Now, this small room allegedly has a poltergeist that likes to dismantle the shelves and throw valuable items all on the floor. So who haunts this house? We have one night to find out. Ah! <laughs> Someone who knows Oakwell Hall and its haunting so well is heritage manager Eric Brown. Uh, the room that we're in at the moment is called the Painted Chamber and it's the room that our famous ghost is associated with and that's the ghost of William Batt. This is the, the room that he supposedly walked into and disappeared and at the time all that was left of him, so the story goes, was a single footprint in blood on the floorboards here. As well as the ghost of William, we, we, we've had a number of other experiences that people have had, sightings, um, smells even as well. Pipe smoke is sometimes smelt. 
We've, we've had a number of um, sightings of sort of shadows, figures, particularly on the balcony over the Great Hall. A number of visitors, independent of each other, who've said that they've, they've heard children or seen children around the staircase. One night when I was locking up, and uh, it was quite late at night at this time, it was about 10 o'clock, there was no, nobody else around in the house. I suddenly heard this very loud, repeated banging noise, like somebody knocking on a door or, or hammering a piece of wood really hard. So I, my first thought was, it made me jump at the time, but my first thought was perhaps it's the people who come to do the repairs on the window, the broken window outside. So I went out, nobody, no van, no people, no, no nothing, everybody gone. And I even did a walk, complete walk around the building externally. There's nobody around at all. We have people who, so don't, who feel very com uncomfortable about going in certain rooms as well. We have a room called the New Parlour Chamber. We've had people who just will not go in that room. We even had a lady who, who came to the front door of the hall and said, I can't come in here. With such a history, we wondered what namesake Fred Bat had to say about the place. I've been really looking forward to the location tonight because I've got a, a family connection here. The person that built this place has the same name as me and the first owner has the same name as me. And I'm hoping there'll be some activity and they'll come forward and say hello. Of course, the other reason I'm here tonight is to look at the darker side of the paranormal. And this place should have a devil dog here. They were called shuck dogs in their day. And they have a luminescence emanating from their mouths. Apparently, the area of Berkeley is well known for fairy rings as well. I don't believe in them myself. I mean, who believes in fairies? But you never know. The other thing I want to find tonight is the ghost of William Bat. Now, he's an ancestor of mine and he comes up the path, through the hall, up the stairs, into his bedroom, and leaves a bloody footprint on the floor. So why? Why does he keep coming back here? Why have so many people seen this solid figure in the hallway walking up the staircase? I want to find out tonight why he keeps coming back. As always, before we start any investigation, we need to speak to skeptic Glenn Hunt. Well, this is an absolutely beautiful house, a great history, but the one thing that intrigues me is this, the ghost of William Bat that has been seen walking through this main hall, up the stairs, and then disappears in one of the bedrooms and allegedly left a bloody footprint. This is probably a story that's been handed down over generations, you know, as people used to sit around the fireplace. There was no television. People used to love telling stories and anecdotes and at Christmas time. So it's probably been changed over the years, that story as well. It's a great story, though, isn't it? Oh, it's fascinating, but whether it's true or not remains to be seen, doesn't well, it? Well, I'm hoping it is very, very true. The other thing that intrigues me is the little room up on the top of the balcony mm. where there's a poltergeist that likes to make itself known quite regularly. It takes the shelves off the wall and throws the items on the shelves on the floor. And that's when nobody else is in the, in the property. Well, you know, we've had things thrown at us in previous programmes, so I'd be quite interested to see if anything like that happens tonight. It'd be interesting, maybe we could put a camera in there and just see what happens after a while, perhaps. Um, over the, the period that you've spent with the, the Most Haunted team, you've seen things sort of progress and like the knocking sensation that we've got. Now, that's prevalent in this house. Right. Um, what do you make of that? Well, it's clearly an energy, isn't it? There's no denying it. Anybody who says, oh, it's tapping of feet, it's uh, people just knocking on the sides, there's somebody else around the corner, it isn't, you know? It's easy to dismiss things like that when you're not actually here, but there are people all over the country who go, go on ghost hunts and see these kind of things and experience them for themselves. And, and they will vouch for it just as I can say that these things really do happen. Now, whether it's the spirit of dead people or just some kind of unquantified natural energy that we still haven't worked out what it is yet, it's clearly some kind of energy. It doesn't necessarily have to mean that it's coming from the dead but it might be just some weird force of nature. I mean, I won't deny I've put my hand up against walls and floors and doors, and I can feel the physical vibration of the knock going on. And one of the reasons when I hear a knock, I go shooting off to have a look and investigate it, is I want to see if there's somebody around the other side doing it. And admittedly, there isn't. There's some force at work, but is that force uh, the dead? Not necessarily. It's good. I mean, th things are happening, whether it's the paranormal, 
not necessarily, you know, I've still yet to see a ghost. Who wouldn't want to see an actual ghost? And then you can possibly say, this is genuinely the thing. But is this place haunted? Have all the other locations that we've been to really haunted? Or is it just some natural phenomena we can't explain? Well, at the moment, I just can't explain it. I wouldn't necessarily say it's ghosts. By the time we finish with you, you will have seen something to uh, convince you. Do you know what? I hope you're right. I know I'm right. <laughs> With the team fully assembled, I was eager to begin our investigation into this wonderful yet haunting house. Well, this is a beautiful hall, isn't it? I love the fireplace, I love everything about it. The atmosphere is fantastic. There isn't a nasty, negative feel at all. It's a lovely feeling. It's very it's homely, really isn't it? Nice. Yeah. yeah. Actually. It's really lovely. And it's, you know, families have lived here, your family. Yeah. And I'm intrigued by this fantastic ghost story of Captain William Bat coming through this archway, through this main hall and off there. So solid as well. Yeah, but, you know, they say it was one blooded footstep on the floorboards upstairs. If he'd traipsed his way through here, why weren't there more, f you know, blooded footsteps across here? Why aren't we seeing those? Well, who knows? And what about the, what about the demon dog? Well, there's been demon dogs in the area. That's what you've got to look out for. That's interesting. I'd like to hear people's take on that and what, exactly yeah. what they saw. Should we head upstairs? Yeah. So we're following the journey of Captain Bat. And he would have come up these stairs. His ghost would have walked through here into this bedroom. And uh, apparently the footprint was seen here. This is where the footprint was seen. Just one. Well, the floorboards were taken up because when the place was a boarding school, the headmistress uh, took the floorboards up, I'm led to understand, so it wouldn't freak all the pupils out at the time, so they were, weren't scared and they'd sleep properly in the bedrooms at night. So it goes. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. I mean, this bed obviously isn't original uh, to the house, and all the furniture in here is totally different. What I love about this place is if a ghost does come back, it would be like a time warp because nothing's mm. really changed. That's a bit of furniture has, but it's fantastic how it's all you know, the majority of it is the same as it was in its day. That's if ghosts really do exist. Oh, come on now. <laughs> OK. <laughs> now, this is a bit of a strange room, isn't it? I think Re this used to be the servants' quarters, didn't it? Yeah, it's just really strange. You've got a bed here and then you've got ham. Yeah. It's proper meat as well. I know, the coldest room in the house, it's north-facing, so uh, not only did they put the servants in here, uh, it's where they used to keep the meat stored as well. Well, that must make you feel really good when you're lying in bed at night as well. Oh, and th th this is a, a, a really, really old bed. It's not original to the house, but this is the sort of bed that a servant would have slept in. Yes, and the, the, the chest there as well. It makes you think about, uh, you know, psychometry as well, spirit and memory coming from certain objects. So you don't know, you could end up with ghosts coming from a memory of the from bed or, yeah, yeah, from somewhere yeah. else. Well, I'm really excited. I think we should turn all the lights off in the house. Yeah. We know exactly what we're doing. We've got all the, the cameras set. I need to just check on Eamon and make sure the EVP is uh, running and if we've got anything so far. So should we do that? Should we turn all the lights yeah, off? Let's go Happy for it, everybody man. to turn the lights off? Yeah. Let's go. Hi, Eamon. Hi, yeah. How's it going? Really good, actually. Um, what have you got so far? Well, I'm quite surprised with what I've got already, actually. Oh, really? Brilliant. So, I'm not entirely sure what this is, but to me it shows some kind of attempt at, at some communication, so I'll play this. What? If anybody's here, would you like to try and make contact with us? Oh. Just here, actually. Let me just amplify that there. There's something there, isn't there? So we could see the sound waves, but... And, and bear in mind as well, we're not using any white noise. This is great. Listen, I'm going to come back because I want to crack on, I want to turn all the lights off and get going. I'll so keep you posted. Great. I think we've made a great start. Thank you. We always lock off cameras in every most haunted investigation, but only ever show them when something significant happens. With so many haunted areas to choose from, we opted for ones with the most sightings. The painted room, the study, the upper balcony and the main bedroom. But we didn't understand just how important that choice would be. Hello? William Bat? Robert Bat? Any members of 
members of the Bat family, if you can hear me, can you make a noise? Anyone at all? Okay. I've just turned the infrared on so it's a bit brighter. I just heard two very faint knocks. I heard them. Can you hear me? Can you show yourself to us, please? Can you move something on the table? Can you see us? Yeah. That's coming from underneath my feet. Really? It sounds I like it's coming from behind, in the corner oh, yeah, yeah. here. I can feel the, 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 the vibrations through the floorboards. Yeah. Can you move something in the room for us? Or can you use your voice? Tap twice for yes if you can do either of these things for us, please. Wow. See how was on the table? No. No? It's in the corner there. I'm filling up here from the bed. Yeah. It's funny, isn't it? It's starting to turn a bit kind of dark. If there's anybody here, knock twice for yes. Let us know you're here. William, John oh, or Henry, are you here? I heard here? two taps on the floor then. Did you? Yeah, two taps, just... If there's anybody here, knock just twice. Just my foot. Knock twice for yes. If there's anybody here, knock twice for yes. Or touch one of us. Can you use your voice then? Did you not hear that? That was like a... Oh, Where did it come from, Carl? It's, it's, I, I'm hearing stuff from this area here. Right, let me just get around there and we get the shot. Watch that chair. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's, it's huge. Hello? It actually looks like someone's actually laying in that bed. But it's tapping. Just the way it's... It's tapping, isn't it? No, it's just a chamber pot. Can you copy me? Do you know, sure I was I did. Yeah, sure I, I was. Did. I did. I did. Can you copy me? Well, what door? Oh, there's no door there. No. I'm, I'm panicking. I could have sworn that was like there was a shadow, then like the door was open on the wall. No, I've got the. It was what's like there was a door open. Oh, what's that it? above, Carl? Just shine your torch above. What's that? Do you know, it actually looks like it could have been a door, but no, it's not. It's not. No, it's, it's not. not. No. But it was like it was in that half a, a jar. Yeah. Mm. Can you copy me? I can feel that. Wow. I, I can feel, feel that. Like that's like yeah. the, the floorboards are moving. Let's listen. See, I'm hearing a whistle as well. Whistle again. Oh! Oh, go ahead. Yeah. What happened? No, nothing. Nothing happened. I just had that thing again that I had um, a couple of weeks ago. Wait. Just that brushing of not brushing of air against against your ear. Right. You know where it just kind of goes like that. Why is it things like that happen when we're about to leave? The I don't room? know. Just as I was turning around then, um, because like we were downstairs, nothing really happened. Upstairs, yeah, yeah. nothing really happened. I, but that was that was just like something just. Was it just like someone like, blowing in your ear? Yeah, just that, well, not blowing in my ear, but blowing past my ear like that. You know, just just sort of side side as if someone was either behind me or in front of me, just blowing past my ear. That right. it's not an echo, is it? Because I just heard I, another. I did hear that. Yeah. Uh... Do you know? 
quite actually, the temperature seems to have dropped in here. The point is, you can see it, the bed yeah. area is 10. I see it, yes. Point one. Yep. It was 14 when it first came in. I've just pointed over there. That's... Uh, 9.1. 9.1. What, what was that pointed on then? Just onto the floor. Right, well, that's going to be slightly cooler, isn't yeah. it, the floor? Well, this actually, no, because it's no floorboard. It, it's, there's a material on top of that, isn't there? And the wood, the, the wood walls are 7.8. Eight. You'd expect that from the panel, yeah, wouldn't you? Yeah, but it was you? 14 when I we, first came in. Oh, it was, uh, right, it was okay. Literally, the walls were 14. Oh, so, so the temperature's dropped, dropped then quite dropped a bit. Oh, then. it's going. Oh, it's certainly six degrees. It's gone up and down again. And it's going Is there down. a spirit in this room making the temperature go colder? 6 6.7, 6 6.6, 6 6.4, 6.2, 6.6, 5.8, 5.9, that's back to 6.2. 6 6.2. 6 6.1, it's definitely getting cold. 6.2 again, 6.1. It's just getting colder anyway in here. Can yeah. you feel it on your yeah. face? Yeah, oh yeah. 6.3, 6.2. 6, 5.8. What's that on now? That's the That's panel just in. on the panelling. 5.7. 5.6. Keep going, keep making the room go colder. You can definitely fit. 4, 5.4. Listen to the tapping, listen. Yeah. 5.3. Make it go colder, make us go colder. 5.2. 5. 5.2, 5. it's still... That's amazing. We've had this before. But that's amazing. That's yeah, got down a couple have of degrees. That much of a drop in this room because there's no wind. There's Not in no that windows. short time when we're asking for it. No. Thank you so much. It's gone cold. Thank you so much for that. Um, okay, well, let's just try for one more minute. Uh, if you were trying to communicate with us. Instead of knock over there, Fred was standing still at the time. Yeah? Where? 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 Uh, it was to your left, but it came over here. Yeah, but you were standing still and it was just like a definite. Maybe it's hot enough. Maybe we've, maybe people are coming to talk to us now. Thank you, if that's you coming to talk to us then, um, please knock something else, uh, blow in my ear, or uh, <laughs> probably best let Glenn know. It would be good if Glenn had all yeah, these experiences. Yeah, nice. So we can, I can verify it. Yeah. Personally. Can you move an object in the room or can you make a noise with your voice? Just try and communicate with us as best you can. It's cold here where I am, Carl. Just, I feel like there's some kind of draft movement where I am. That's going down again. It started off at eight, now it's down to 5.7, 5.6. Okay. 5.5, 5.3. Where are you pointing that now? Just literally behind you, 5.2, it's 5.3. Right, okay. 5.2, 5.1. It has, I have. So what, what, what's that reading now, Carl? It was 5.1 when I finished. It started right. for 8.6. No, and it was 14 originally, you said? When I first came when in, When you came 14. in, yeah. right. When we tested it again, which we have on camera, it was, it was around sort of the, the 7s and 8s. Because if like anything, it should go up with our body heat, should, shouldn't yeah. it? Can you throw this back? Right, I've got that in the corner. It's just slightly gone under. Yeah. You throw that back, could you, and also perhaps you could, I'm going to put these shoes here. Can you move these shoes for me, perhaps? Can you just give me a sign of yes, you can either move the ball or you can move the, sho or you can move the shoes. Just give me a knock. What was that? Oh. Did you not hear that? What was it? The ball, sir. It was like cloth. It was like cloth. What, like pants rubbing together when you're walking? Yeah, kind of. Hello? Everything, yeah, still there. Why is it underneath me? What's that? Wait, whoa, what's going on? What's that? What's what? You've, uh, you've actually just put a light on, what's? You've actually just done what? She put a light on, I've seen something on the floor there. She didn't put a light on anything. No, she, she, she just turned. She didn't. Yeah, she did. She didn't. She did. What's that? Oh, that wasn't there. That wasn't there. That was just literally oh, on the floor. You know it wasn't oh, where there. Is that? Because I walked in here and I would have 
clocked it. That was not there. And it doesn't belong in this room. I've never even seen it. It does not belong in this like room. A, like I'm a sure. Quaker. It looks like listen. a Quaker's hut. That's what I heard. That's what you heard. Oh. That's what I heard. But we were over there. I would have... I'd never... I've not even seen oh, that, so I can't so comment. It's still... It's still yeah. Is it? Sorry. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's still there. It's still there. Yeah. It's probably gone now. But what? That, that's great about the house. Walking. There was walking out here. That's oh why really? The walked off. Yeah, I don't understand what's just gone on there. With some spirits seemingly wanting to make playful contact with us, I was eager to see if Eamon had picked up any EVP, and if so, could we establish who from? So, Eamon, while we were doing our vigils, did you catch anything interesting? I did, really interesting. Uh, there was a... I asked for different names to come through, and we got a Robert come through. Uh, somebody called Robert Bat. Oh, Robert Bat? Yeah. Well, I do happen to know, on that picture there, which has actually got the timeline of everybody that lived here, there is a Robert Bat. Well, I wanted to be precisely sure that this was Robert, and... <laughs> You're gonna, you're gonna like this. This is quite amazing oh, because he confirms this quite a few times. So here we go. Is there anybody with the surname Bat here? Robert. So we've got an I'm Robert just there. So to double check, I record again and I throw a different name and I throw William in. William. Robert. Oh, so gosh, wow. yes, it's oh, yeah. so clear. William, no. Robert, yes. Wow. So I'd do it again, just to double check. Um, here we go. Is it Robert Bax? Would you shout yes if it is? So wow. Yes again. So I go again, just to double, double check, because I couldn't believe that this was so clean and this is so active. Um, Robert, can you hear me clearly? <laughs> That's obviously pretty loud. It's so. almost like a shout. It's almost like a, a defiant yes. It's like a. This is a great start. So while everybody goes off and does more vigils, it'd be interesting to see while we're asking yeah. out if there's any responses. Whatever was trying to communicate with us, we needed to continue. I sent Carl, Fred, and Darren to the servants' quarters, while Glenn, Stuart, and myself went to the ladies' loo. Just because it's a ladies' loo. It was something else earlier yeah, on. It doesn't absolutely. mean to say it's not haunted. Yeah. Hello? Is there anybody here? If you're here, can you make a noise? Can you turn a tap on? You turn a tap on, please. I'm going to throw this towel. Let's just put it on the floor. Yeah. Can you, uh, can you throw the towel? Right, so this is the cold, the cold room, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. With the meat hanging up. What, the real meat hanging up? Yes, the real meat hanging up, as we found out. Is anyone here? I know it's cold in here anyway. Yeah. But it feels unnaturally cold, like there's this there's, there's a it's a cold within a cold. It does in the room below this as well. If yeah, we, we noticed that, that before, yeah. it, it's really icy cold with icy cold drafts in a very well sealed building. Can you please It just sounds really weird to say this, but can you <laughs> please blow on Darren's ear? Oh, we've got tapping again. Where? We've got tapping starting somewhere. I thought there was footsteps on the stairs. I thought someone was no, coming yeah, in. No, I don't think so. The, the other team are in the other half of the building. There's no one else in this half apart from us. OK, I'm freaking myself out. Yeah. You know why? All I'm seeing is big black eyes. Yeah, that's just the lack of light though, isn't it? I know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that's the thing, if you stare at something long enough, you'll create an image, won't you? Don't make me listen. Hello? I 
I can't do it, I hate it. Uh, give us two taps if you're here. That's right yeah. on the landing. That is, that's right here on Yeah, the it sounds like it's coming from over in that direction. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's, uh, is, is it William? Are you back with us? No. No, okay. Uh, let me see the one, Fred. Was it, was it John? Was it? Yeah, is it John? John Bat? No, there, the, was a, there was a Robert. Is he the priest? No, John. Two the taps, one. I heard two taps. Up. I heard two taps. Yeah. Then. Robert, is that you? Yeah, Robert. Hi, Robert. Thank um, you. Hi. <laughs> this is, you know, this is the most frustrating thing about the taps, is what do you do now? Two yeah. taps for yes, one tap for no. Are you male or female when you die, when you not die? Um, well, there's one thing we could say. Robert, was it you that came through on Eamon's voice machine earlier on? Yes. Yeah. Wow. How many of you are here, Robert? Because I was, because all my energy was looking at you in that car. <laughs> you scared. Do you I know, I've never seen you move so, <laughs> no, no. so it's a proper grab, a proper pin. I don't, proper. yeah, I don't normally move. <laughs> that was about 20, I don't normally move. There's about 20 people Ooh. coming through though on those taps. Yeah. And yeah. you got hit straight, that, straight away. That's why I was that focused on watching you. I was, I just wasn't, what was you said before about letting your guard down? It just felt, there's like a little pinch with like a finger and a thumb like that. Um, right? Oh, I'm, I'm fine. My ankle's a little sore, but I'll, I'll get over that. That's okay. It's funny you think my eyes are welling up, yet to me they feel really dry. You just look to me from here in the dark with a tiny bit of light. You look incredibly sad, like you're going to burst into tears. Well, you can actually see it on this shot here. Listen, listen. It's a tapping noise. Can you hear it? Mm. Hello? Are you sad? That's my stomach, sorry. Are you sad? Oh, that's my torch, sorry. Are you sad? Nothing. There was a very faint taps there, mm. wasn't there? Yeah, I had those. How weird is it? You just look really, really sad. It did look like he was going to cry. I'll tell yeah. you why, because on camera you can... You know, and you're going to try, you, you can see someone welling yeah, up yeah. just at the bottom of their eyes, yeah. and that's, that's and, you can, and you can see it on the camera, but we know but because you're staring at something long enough. You can make your eyes, your eyes water, yes, yeah. yes. But my eyes to me feel really dry, and I wear contact lenses as well, yeah. and, and they just felt really dry. Can you please throw the towel as we're walking out? Hit Glenn on the back of the head yeah. with it. That would be particularly fabulous. We'll slam a door. I'm interested to know what that massive bang was, aren't you? Yeah. Um, that was... <laughs> is that you? Who, who, it was very who strange. Pinched, who pinched Darren? Oh, it was me touching that. Robert, if that was you, can you do it again? I'm a little freaked out behind me now, actually. I'm, I'm, I've just realised I'm just handing my back to this again. Robert, if that's you, can you push Darren? Push him hard. Oh, yeah, cheers. I was, yeah. was going to say, I'll stand behind you, but that'll probably freak you out <laughs> yeah. even more. Yeah, move yourself. Give him a real good shove, Robert, if you're here. Okay. Yeah, that's it's fine. Is it Darren? You, you, you want to communicate with Darren? After his shock, Darren needed a quieter vigil. Bearing this in mind, Carl and Stuart continued on their own while the rest of us conducted a Ouija board to see if we could contact the Bat family. Is anybody here? Please, can you come and talk to us? Can you move the planchette? Let us know if you are here. If you can move it, let us know that you're around. Oh, that's quite good. Yes. 
Can you tell us your first name, please? Please introduce yourself. Tell us your first name. W. w. I. L. L. What's your surname, please? B. B. A. A. T. T. So William Bat. Okay, what's your story? How are you feeling, Stu? Well, I'm okay. I'm alright. Right, before we do anything, okay. let's just have a look at all of the things in this room, just in case anything moves. Can you see alright? Yeah, the infrared's not too good on this at the moment. Is it turned on? So yeah, it's turned on. Right, it must be dying to death. Then. Yeah. There's all those bits. Yeah. My name's Stuart. My name's Carl. We don't mean you any harm. Did you hear that? like mice. What did you but think it was? <laughs> that's why no, I looked at you. <laughs> there's no mice in here. I know there is. That was a scratching that's what, sound. Uh, well, yeah. Hello? I can hear it now. Oh, it's coming from where that cube is or whatever you call it. What is it? A sideboard, isn't it? A sideboard. Have a look, put your camera underneath. Any mice or rats under there? No, there's no rats and mice in here. Well, that's what it sounded like. There's absolutely none in here at all. Go to your far right. Nothing there. Nothing at all. Do you want to ask some questions? Historically, do you want to ask some questions, Fred? Um, yes, yeah, so this is Captain William Batt. Um, are you uh, an ancestor of mine? It's really quick, That's isn't it? Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you able to come through quickly because Fred is here? Yeah. That's great. The question is, is this is it definitely your ghost, your apparition that is seen in this house? Yes. Can we see you tonight? Who was it that made that sound? Can you communicate with us? Can you tap for us? Two for yes, one for no. Was it you that made the sound? The scratching sound? Because it was quite eerie. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know, yeah, I know. Nothing. Are there any spirits in this room with us now? Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. I think it just came from outside there. It sounded like a door latch. Come on, let's go. Mind There's yourself. Like just it. mind yourself on all the it stairs. like one of them. From a distance. Well, let's go. Here. You had a lovely home here. I really appreciate you coming to see us and speak to us. Um, I just hope in the afterlife you're happy. E. 
D. If there's anyone, anything that can move something in this room, please move it for us. See now there was a move, there was a sound back in that kitchen area. Do you know what I think it sounded like? What was that? It sounded like a chain. But that was in the That's kitchen area. Chains aren't associated with the kitchen, are they? No. something before a kitchen because don't forget we're upstairs why would there be a kitchen upstairs well no so it's not a kitchen is it it's a larder it's because it, it's a cold point because this is north facing so it's a oh. it's a cold room just to keep the meat and I stuff because so. uh, yeah. the kitchen will be down below us and also it'll be servants quarters as well did you just make that noise yeah this infrared light is dimming at the top yeah. We're losing. If you're here, give Carl a good slap in the face. I thought I, I thought we'd had a chat about this. Carl, look what? at that above you. Turn your camera around. What's moving? Where? Above you there. Did you knock that or not? I don't know, I very well he could have done. I, I could have done. It's not that far from me, to be fair. Right, okay. Why did you have a duel with him? What was the reason? Can you give me a word? What was the reason? Why? Was it money? Yeah, yeah that's correct. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Do you need our help in any way? No. no. We could go on all night talking to you. you. You've been amazing. Thank you so, so much for talking to us. Let's hope we get to see you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very, very much. And I hope you don't mind us in your home. The Ouija board had certainly given us some great information. But when we looked at the locked off cameras, we were amazed at what happened. The spinning wheel in the painted room seems to move on its own and the Victorian cutout of a child in the main bedroom also moved. Amazing as these two single events, when we looked at the time codes, happened at exactly the same moment as the Ouija board spelt out Jewel. This event stands alone as one of the best pieces of evidence captured to date and marks an end to this investigation. And what an investigation it was. We just had two very faint knocks. I heard them. Yeah. That's coming from underneath my feet. It's starting to turn a bit kind of dark. Dude, yeah, sure I, I, was, did. Yeah, sure I, I did. Yeah, sure I, I did. Was, I did. Oh, right. oh, good hair. Yeah. 6.6. 6.4. 6.2. What's that? Oh, that wasn't there. That wasn't there. There was walking out here. I don't understand what's just gone on there. William? Robert? Oh, gosh, oh, yeah. yes, oh, yeah. it's so William, no. Robert, yes. Where? Okay, I'm freaking myself out. Yeah. You know why? All I'm seeing is big black eyes. <laughs> I can't do it, I hate it. Uh, well, just uh, like a gruff. Jewel. That's how he died. That's how you died, isn't it?
Until next time, sleep tight. Leave a message as you go. Find the moment.